forget to begin our blanket, we'll start with a magic circle. And we're going to chain three. So that's one, two, three. In our circle, we're going to do nine double crochet. So now we should have nine double crochet. I'm going to go to the top of our chain three and we're going to slip stitch to close that round. We're going to chain three and we're going to double crochet in that same stitch. We're going to go to our next stitch we're going to do two double crochet. We're going to complete that. We're going to continue that pattern all the way around. So two double crochet in each of our double crochet from the last round. Okay, that's the end of our second round. And we can just slip a stitch to the top of our chain three. Chain three. In that same space, we're going to do double crochet, two chains, and two more double crochet. Now we're going to skip our next stitch from below. And in the next one, we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. We'll continue that same pattern all the way around. Okay, at the end of this row, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain three. And then we're going to slip stitch into the chop top of the next double crochet. So we slip stitched into the top of this chain and the double crochet next to it. Chain three. From our previous row, we should have nine chain two spaces. And in each of these chain two spaces, we will do two double crochet, chain two, and then two more double crochet. So next to this, to pull our work over a little bit. We find the top of our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet into it. We're going to skip these next two double crochet and we're going to find the double crochet that's next to our chain two space. And we're going to double crochet into the top of it. And then as in each chain two space, we are always doing two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. Now find the first double crochet, move our work over, and a double crochet into it. We're going to skip the next two, and we're going to double crochet into the next one closest to our next chain two space. Chain two space is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet.
So we can see that we have our points that are starting at our chain two spaces and then our indents are being formed by the skipping two double crochets. So let's continue that same pattern around. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in our chain two space. Then we're gonna do double crochet in our next. We're gonna skip our middle two, double crochet in our next double crochet, and then we're back to a chain two space. So we've finished round four, and now I'm going to change colors. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna chain, uh, sorry, slip stitch into the top of my chain three. I'm going to slip stitch into my second double crochet, but I'm going to pull back with my gray. So I'm gonna do a slip knot, my gray. that through, through again. So I've made a slip stitch using the gray. Now I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to do a double crochet in my next double crochet. So now I have two double crochet well, a chain three double crochet, which is two double crochet. In this chain two space, I'm gonna do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Coming down this side, now we see that we've got three double crochet. We're going to do a double crochet in the top of the first two. We're going to skip the third one. Okay, we skip our third one here and our first one over here. We've got two double crochet. In our chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Coming down this side, we have our three double crochet, so we're going to do two double crochet, and then we're going to skip the third one. So we can see our pattern. We have four double crochet, chain two space, four double crochet, skip two, four double crochet, chain two space, four double crochet, skip two. We'll continue this pattern all the way around. Okay, that's the end of the fifth row. You're going to continue along, always following the same pattern. So at the end of one round, you're going to slip stitch into the top of your chain three to join into that last round. Then because we are always skipping this double crochet, that's part of our indent, we slip stitch over into the second double crochet and then we chain three above that one. So this round, see I have one, two, three, four double crochet here. This next round I'm gonna have five. So I'll do, over here I've got one, So I've just double crocheted into the top of my second 
double crochet from the last round and then the third two double crochet chain two two double crochet Now coming down this side, there are four double crochets. I'm going to crochet into the top of the first three. Then I'm going to skip the last one. That'll give me five. We just continue the same way, going round and round until your blanket has reached the desired size. I'll come back when I'm ready to finish this one. All right, I have finished crocheting my security blanket. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen rounds. In each section, there are fourteen double crochets. So, my last thing I'm going to do is the edging. So, I'll slip stitch into that space, chain one and then single crochet in the same spot. To do the edging, I'm going to need to single crochet into each of my double crochets all the way around. The only exception is when we get to our chain two space at the top of our point, then we're going to do three single crochet. So I've done one single crochet in each space. Here's my chain two space, and I'm gonna do three single crochet in there. We'll continue like that all the way around. Single crochet in each of our double crochets. We're not skipping anything here. We're gonna single crochet in each double crochet till we get to our chain two space then we'll put three double crochet in there. I've just completed the single crochet in each stitch all the way around, three single crochets in the chain two space. Back at the beginning, and I did a slip stitch in the first single crochet that we did, chain one. Now I'm going to do a single crochet in the same space And now chain five. We're going to skip our next single crochet. We're going to do a single crochet in the next one. Chain five. Skip the next single crochet and do a single crochet in the next one. So this is what it's going to look like. So we'll continue that pattern all the way around. Chain five, skip your next single crochet, and then make a single crochet in your next one. We'll continue that until we are back at the beginning. I have completed crocheting all the chain five spaces around for my edging. With my last chain five, I did a slip stitch into my first single crochet and then just fastened off the yarn. We're ready to attach the elephant head and the arms to the blanket. Now we're going to make the elephant arms. I'm going to use the blue, which is my contrasting color. We're 
We're going to start with a magic circle. In our magic circle, we're going to crochet seven single crochets. In each of our seven single crochets, we're going to do two single crochets. That's the end of round two, and we should have 14 single crochets. In our next round, round three, we're going to single crochet in our first three, and then we'll put a double crochet in our next one. So three with just a single crochet, and then in our next one, we'll put two single crochets. should have two single crochets left after your last after your last increase in that round so we just single crochet into our last two stitches So that's the end of round three, and we should have 17 single crochets. Going to slip stitch into our first single crochet in that round. We're going to fasten off. To start with our gray. I like to start with a slip knot. I'm going to go into the back loop only. A slip stitch through chain one and then do a single crochet in that same spot now we're going to single crochet all the way around in our back loops only and still we have 17 single crochets. This is the end of round four. So rounds five through 16, we're going to single crochet through both loops. And we're not increasing, it will be straight single crochet each stitch around for rounds five through 16. You can begin to put stuffing, polyfill, inside. Row 17, we're going to decrease all the way around. To decrease, we'll go into the front loop only, pull back a loop. Next stitch, 
front loop only, pull back. We have three on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Continue this all the way around. To begin round 17, going to single crochet in our first, and then we're going to decrease. So we decrease by going into the front loop, and then the front loop of our next single crochet. So now we have three loops on our hook. We'll pull through all three. Single crochet in our next. Then we're doing front loops only for our next two. We have three on our hook. Pull through all three. We'll continue that all the way around. Okay, that's the end of row 17. You should have 12 single crochet around. If you need to add a little more polyfill, this is your chance. Our next row, round 18, we're going to decrease all the way around. So we're going through the first front loop and our first two single crochets will pull through all three. We'll continue that all the way around. That was the end of round 18. Cut a tail long enough for sewing. Pull that through our little loop. And this arm is complete. All right, now we're ready to assemble our elephant blanket. So I've got the two arms. We'll set those aside for now. Blanket, the head. So I'm going to start with the color that I have in the middle of the blanket. So for me, it's the contrasting color blue. So whatever color you have there. So I'm not choosing the elephant head color. I'm going to go through the bottom of the elephant head and this is to help me position the head to make sure that I, that I have it in the center of the blanket and I'm going to use the blue for some sewing. So I'm going to put my hook in and come out right around that center circle where we did our first row of double crochet in the magic circle. I've hooked my blue on that side and that side. So now I'm going to turn over And I'm going to pull this tauntly. And I'm just going to knot it. And we'll go back to that wool after. So I've cut off the length of my gray, the same color as the head. And 
gonna start in the back of the head. This is the center circle here where we did our first row of double crochet. This is the next circle out where we did uh, our round two of our single crochet, of our double crochet, sorry. And that is where I'm going to sew the head to that row. So I'm just gonna go in and out of one of those stitches, leave enough tail for knotting. So I'm gonna lay the head back to where this circle on our blanket matches one of the circles on the elephant head. So about right there. I'm just gonna go in and out through one of the single crochets in the head of the elephant. And I'm gonna continue going around the same way. So it's hard for me to do this on the side. So I'm gonna go back to that same circle, find the circle on the blanket. So I'm gonna go back to that same circle on the blanket, find a stitch to go through and then I'm gonna follow that same circle on the head of the elephant coming this way. So making sure that I make lots of stitches that line up with this circle on the blanket and the same circle on the head of the elephant. So I'll do a few and then come back and I'll show you. So I'm just past the ear now going across the front of the elephant head. Again, just making sure I'm following that same circle on the blanket. Go through, stitch from there. And then I'm following the same circle on the elephant head. And you can tug on both ends of your yarn. That will make it nice and tight. And you can see how it's looking. So right there, I have no gaps. Uh, so I'll continue along all the way across the front until I'm back uh, at the back of the head again. Okay, I have finished sewing that all around and I made sure to pull all my stitches really tight. So have a look around to make sure that they all seem, you can't see any loops there from your stitches. You can even use your hook if you want it, if you had a loose one there, to pull at it and to, to help tighten it up. But anyway, mine are all tight. So I'll snip that there at a better working length. And I'm going to Tie a knot in these two. And we can bury this, these ends in the head. Underneath, just for a little bit of added. So 
security. My knot didn't stay very well. So I put my darning needle or tapestry needle on the end of one piece of wool. I'm just going to go in and out in a random pattern here. That's why we have this blue wool, so you won't see this. So probably half of the circle, inside the circle where I just stitched the head on, I'm not gonna go outside. I'm just going to uh, do some stitches in and out, just to keep it a little more secure. Probably don't need to do this, but if it's going to be handled, played with, hopefully, I'm just wanting to give it that little extra support where the head is joined on to the blanket. So I'll end this yarn towards the middle. Then I'm going to take my other side, my other yarn, and I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. So this piece of yarn does two things for me. First, it held the head in the center where I want it to make sure it stayed while I was sewing it with the gray. And then I use it for just a little bit more sewing security. Push this up through the head. Sometimes it likes the hole you put it in, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to go back and try the space right next to that. Tug. Okay, so the head is now attached to the blanket. Now we need to sew the arms on. So the arms are going to get sewn right where the head and the blanket join. Just place it just to the front of the ear or right under the ear depending on where your the middle mark is. Let me look at this guy again. So right under the ear is where I'll place this one. And the, this one over there. So you're just going to
literally sew the top of that arm nice and firmly right into the head, right where the head meets the blanket. I'll do one and then we'll come back. Okay, this arm is just about finished. I stitched from the arm into the head all the way around. Even underneath, I stitched into the head, not into the blanket part. And I'm just ready here to do a knot. Make sure your arm feels like it's on pretty solidly. You can go around a couple times if you want. So the way I like to knot off, especially when there's one piece of wool, it's kind of hard. Um, so you, I take a loop, make a loop there. With my needle, I will go into the loop around two times, so it's around my needle twice. And then pull it, but go slowly. So you can see that the knot is right there. So I want to move that down slowly. I use my other, my left hand here, kind of slide that knot down so it's close to my work. And when it's all the way down, and I'll give it a good, good pull, should be snug there, and then put my needle in right next to where I put that knot. I'll stick it through. Okay, so now we have one arm, and we'll go ahead and sew the other one on the same way that we did this one, the first one. All right, our elephant is finished. I think it came out great. Lots of different possibilities uh, with this project. You can change contrasting colors, you can make the blanket longer if you want, um, but just a sweet, sweet little project. So I really hope you enjoyed following along with me, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you uh, would like to follow along with other great projects that I'll put out there. Happy crocheting and have a great day!